Finally, to just round out this discussion of organometallic compounds, I really wanted to mention briefly the idea of ligands attached to the metal center. In the context of coordination chemistry, we think of the ligands as Lewis bases coordinated to the Lewis acidic metal center, and we can totally think of carbon itself as one of those ligands, but many metal complexes include ligands other than carbon linked to the metal. So you may see something like M L sub N, where the L sub N represents a set of ligands, L for ligand, linked to the metal center in addition to the carbon group. We won't go into the details, and we will very rarely deal with ligands directly, but just to mention it, the numbers and charges of the ligands depend on the oxidation state of the metal. In other words, the extent of positive charge on the metal. Ligands are very important in reactions of organometallic compounds because they can modulate or change the reactivity of the metal center. Electron-rich ligands can make the metal center more electron-rich. Electron-poor ligands can make the metal center more electron-poor and thereby modulate the reactivity of the carbon at the same time. And I just wanted to show a quick example of this involving the use of a ligand to affect an enantioselective transformation and for the purpose of rate acceleration. So if we take an aldehyde, which is electrophilic at the carbonyl carbon, of course, we're very familiar by now with this reactivity, and we treat it with diethyl zinc, which is, at least in theory, based on what we've talked about, nucleophilic at the carbon link to zinc, we should expect an addition process to take place, a nucleophilic addition. This is, as we'll see a little bit later in more detail, akin to a reduction in which nucleophilic carbon is adding rather than nucleophilic hydrogen. But just treating the aldehyde with diethyl zinc results in an extremely slow reaction. However, when we throw in a little bit of a Lewis basic ligand, specifically this amino alcohol ligand L shown here, the reaction becomes a lot more rapid. So when we've added just 5 mole percent of the ligand L, the reaction becomes much more rapid and we end up with selective formation of one of the two possible enantiomers. If we look at the structure of the ligand, this is a fairly electron-rich ligand with a nice Lewis base in the nitrogen atom and a potential Lewis base in the oxygen atom as well, and both of these can actually coordinate to the zinc atom and make it much more electron-rich than it is in the uncatalyzed case. This facilitates nucleophilic addition of the ethyl group since it makes the ethyl carbon, the carbon linked to zinc, a much stronger nucleophile. This facilitates addition to the electrophilic aldehyde carbon and makes the reaction much faster. And because the coordination turns the zinc complex into a chiral molecule, as long as we have L in enantiopure form, in other words, as a single enantiomer, we should expect selective generation of one of the two possible enantiomers in this addition reaction. So ligands are very important in practical chemistry to achieve rapid and stereoselective reactions, although in focusing on the fundamentals in this course, we'll very rarely deal with ligands directly.